I'm going to create a monoprint from a celebrity picture. So I'm rolling out a thin layer of colored ink on here. Uh, really a tiny bit of ink, as thin as possible. Mop up some newspaper to remove excess ink. So then I want to tape my picture and my watercolor background using some masking tape. Once I've done this, I'm going to go around uh, as precisely as possible and add as much detail as possible, pressing quite hard with my writing pen on here. I'm also trying to colour the areas that are dark on the picture, like his jacket, the shading uh, underneath the chin, the beard and uh, the shadow around the eyes. So I'm trying to add as much detail as possible. Once I've done this, I'm just going to have a look and check my uh, results on here. So that's what I've got. I've got a faint paint in a really quite pale colour on here. So to make it stand out more, I'm going to repeat the exercise, but with a darker colour underneath. So here I'm just checking that it works. It's working fine. So I'm adding as much detail as possible and being really quite precise on here. I'm also being mindful of not putting any lines where there are not any. Uh, so try to just outline the lines you can see and colour in the dark areas on there. Checking my print here, I think it could do it being a little bit darker around the eyes and nose areas. So I'm going to use just the leftover ink on my roller and finish that off on here to make it stand out a little bit more. That's it. So now I'm going to undo the masking tape super carefully so I don't rip my paper on here. So now on a bigger sheet of paper, I'm going to create a composition. So I'm cutting out my portrait and making sure I'm leaving a little gap around the edge so I'm not cutting on the line on here. Then I'm going to choose where I want to position it in the page. I think it looks quite nice in that bottom corner on here kind of uh, playing with the rule of thirds as well, having it off center on here. So I'm going to trace the outline of my portrait with a pen on here. Now I'm going to create a collaged background. So here I've got the little bits of background from the picture, some newspaper and some colored pieces of paper as well. I am trying to keep everything in the similar color scheme. Uh, so I've got the yellow, uh, the gray of the newspaper and I've put a little bit of blue as well to have a bit of contrast on there and lift it a little bit on there. You can see I'm also using pieces of newspaper that I've got that blue and yellow in uh, to have a piece of collage that matches. I'm overlapping my little pieces of paper slightly with uh, the outline I've drawn on there. Um, so once I've done all this, I'm going to glue uh, my portrait on here. Right, now with my watercolour, I'm coming around and just tinting my background on here a little bit. So here I've decided to use a really dark blue, almost black, and do a gradient from the border of my portrait that kind of fades out around the edges. I'm adding a little bit of orange and yellow uh, to add interest to the background. So now I want to show you how to do a sellotape transfer. So on here, I'm uh, putting some little bits of clear tape on a piece of newspaper. Then once I've cut those out, I'm dipping them in water and rubbing out the paper with my fingers. And you can see the paper's coming off, but the print is staying on. So now I've got really clear, transparent pieces of tape with a little bit of text printed on. So I'm adding a bit of glue to make sure they stick properly and putting those on. Here I want to transfer some of the lyric of some of Storms in Song uh, using the old pastel transfer technique. So on the back of a small sheet of copy paper, I'm rubbing in some colors of oil pastels that match my color scheme. Uh, some dark and light ones and to rub as uh, hard as you can, leaving no gaps at all on there. Then I'm coming back over the top and starting writing his name and some lyrics or some parts of lyrics from his song on here. So I'm choosing when putting the text quite strategically as well to kind of match the direction of my little pieces of paper. So depending how you've collaged your background, yours might look slightly different. And finally, using a stencil, I'm just adding a few patterns around the side on here to add interest of the background on here. And that's it.